and then there are monsters. Mm -hmm. That's why you can't drink coffee. I had coffee before and I got coffee. I don't think I before. I did. Okay. Ask mommy. I will. Man, so we have not found a single one of these power cores yet, and we need two. What over here? I'm starting to think maybe we can use those beams to power it? Yeah. Yeah? You think so, Kai? Okay. Maybe. Oh, we can blow these up. Oh, maybe we have to blow something up. Maybe we have to, like, break the power cores out of something? Okay, they're power core sockets, so generally that means we have to have a power core. Are you having to go? Why, why are you shooting? I'm not sure. This is a this is a puzzle, so I don't know what the answer is to this. About the answer is that really put no. a power cord in the Did I move? No. Hmm. Didn't they throw power cores at me? No, those were barrel bombs. Those weren't power cores. Looks like these are being powered by something. Wait. Where are these being powered? Wait, there's something in there. I just... Those. They're connected to those These here? And those yeah, they, and it looked like they were connected to this. But I blew those up and nothing really happened. The answer maybe is... Maybe, are there ones on all sides? There are. Maybe if we blow all of them up, something happens? Okay, so we blew all of them up on all sides. Did it stop the laser? No, it didn't, it didn't stop the laser. Okay, there's got to there's got to be power cores somewhere around here. Um Yeah, there's got to be power cores around here. Let's take a look. How do you go to the big map yet? We look all the way over here. Oh, what's this? Oh. Maybe if we can find a power cord generator. Are those exploding green? Are those exploding green? Because uh, they are corrosion. Corrosion, corrosion is bad. What corrosion do to you? Corrosion melts. Oh, here we go, here we go. You know what we found in here? What? Your bedtime. Time for you guys to go. Uh, hey, uh, uh, okay, can you guys say bye to chat? No. Bye, chat. Bye, chat. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'll be right back.
Okay. Uh-oh. Thanks for hanging tight, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the Roko and Kai show. What's this? Yes. Let's break down the blue one. Okay. So I think this is the second wreck, which means we can probably find the other one. I think there's like another wreck on the other side. If we explore that one thoroughly, hopefully we'll be good. I just bought the game via your store. Thank you, Imagination to Form. Appreciate it. Microsoft helped us, helped us expedite the situation 1.0 will be on the branch tomorrow for you folks to enjoy. Oh. Oh, great. Okay, cool. So it'll all be on there. Oh, okay. Appreciate the update. What does C do? Does C do anything important? Oh, it does that. You know what? I'm going to change some stuff. Okay, so there should be another wreck. It was kind of nearby here, wasn't it? Is that it? Oh, maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Let's check. Pile driver with a T241. Thanks, bud. The one we were just at. Uh oh. Oh shoot, they're close. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's do this. Oh, 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 oh.
Oh, this is an Eclipse Black Cannon? Okay, I want to break that down. Great, now we can build our own. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna break down the thermo gun and the mines. What's this? Wow! Oh, did you get, you got Kai seeing this? For those that weren't here earlier, we went to the Prescott Space Station and this is this was the sound my four-year-old made when we saw it. Wow! <laughs> yeah. So that was uh, that was pretty amazing. It's like the most perfect wow ever. Thank you, Triwar. I really appreciate that, man. Yeah, uh, hey, if, if Barry's here, can we ping him on that? Let's make that the new tip sound for now. I think that's kind of perfect. It sounds like Mario falling off the world. Wow! <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Needs just a little, like, trebolo in there, right? Yeah, we need to, like, drop the volume by about, like, 30%. So that's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, yeah. Take that. Sure, we'll take that. Okay. Perfect. Um, is the only place we have storage? Is the only place we have storage in the CEDO system? We need one more region, four more location challenges, one more distress call on high-risk areas. Okay. Home base? Yeah. That's a bummer. Maybe there's like a faster way than going through the gates. Let's see what this is. Noah Demar's starport. Perk to send stuff home is super valuable. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, what? How close are we to that? more power cells, a more cooling unit. We need dark matter. Yeah, we need, we need a lot of stuff for that. Oh, man. Hi, apart from your voice, is it possible to change aspects of your personality? Yes, that is possible. Is there any way to make you a bit friendlier, a little less cynical? Gee, Captain, you betcha. That's such a swell suggestion. A jolly hive makes for a happier ride. Oh, my sweet, scrappy, hell no. Stop that, please revert to default. I knew you would see reason. Wow. Uh, Ko, what is the biggest differences between an ARPG and a CRPG? They seem very alike to me. Um, the key thing for an ARPG is action. ARPGs are usually games that are like much more um, action-y to put it bluntly. So like, you know, there's a lot more, like the combat is generally in real time. Um, the story is generally there to per just push you down the looting levels. ARPGs are generally a little bit more like looter shootery in terms of like Diablo style loot systems. We need help, but without backup here. Um, CRPGs are generally known for like really deep character customization. They're a lot of times turn-based, um, which which ARPGs generally are generally are not. That is perfect. Um, they there's there's a lot of a lot of uh, they're also very story heavy, which ARPGs ARPGs can have a good story. Don't get me wrong, but a lot of times it's not the focus. It focuses the gameplay and the loot and stuff like that. So there's lots of pretty important differences, but. Um, 
they are a lot of times both an isometric, which is probably what why they look the same. Oh man. Need faster weapon recharge. Dude, I don't know about this. The drone carrier is like wrecking that guy. More hostiles just jumped in. Seriously? Um What are link drones? Way too close in this ship. The whole point of the ship is it's a sniper. We're a sniper ship without a good sniper rifle. Need to work on that. we get here beam laser an eco recharge booster mm, didn't have the stats though oh oh that was level 13 damn dude i don't yoink okay man too bad we didn't get a I need a level 13 rapid railgun, dude. Whew. All right, let's go. Is there any reason that you couldn't have an ARPG with deep character creation and story like a CRPG? Uh, there are games that kind of, that, that have that kind of cool character lore and stuff like that. Like Grim Dawn's a great example. Um, but most of the time, games focus on the mechanics and stuff. I mean, Diablo also does a good job of, like, you know, having the story be a big part of it, too. Um, but yeah, it's it's not really, again, most of the time, ARPGs are just ARPGs because of their gameplay. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I have received a job offer from the local communications office. They are looking for a level-headed person who can help maintain peace in the DMZ. Mm, might be something. Where can I find him? 
at the docking point of the Damaris Port Authority. Cool. That is a beautiful ship. That is a two plus. Oof. Those are good looking ships. Ooh, a one plus. What does the plus indicate? Like these are, oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. So there's ones and one pluses? Just a tier? Oh, so there's there's one, one plus, two, and then two plus. Is there a three? I can sell this. Interesting. Oh wow, look at this. This one is giving a pulse laser thing. Destroy a base. We should look into that. I think I actually have Annihilator Virus. I do. We should try that. Let's try this. What's the range on it? 400 meter. I could warp in, hit Annihilator Virus on a group of ships, and then warp out. Okay. What are the what are the big epic things on this? Infected targets deal 50% reduced damage. Deal 20% bonus damage to each additional debuff on the target. Eh. Increase maximum number of targets by two. I probably want symptomatic. Symptomatic could be awesome. It's like a six second debuff as well. I mean, it's Dude, I'm going to have a real hard time getting rid of Scurry. Like a real hard time. Or excuse me, uh, teleporter. I love the teleporter. I love it. Can we get three? Oh, we can have up to four devices on ships. No mini code today? They went to bed. They went to bed. So I can have up to four devices on, on higher tier ships. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna there's gonna be so many fun things we can do with that. I feel like teleport is going to be uh, something that's on all of my all Hi, of my ships. Is this the communications office. I'm here for the job. Oh, good. Things are crazy today. If you would give me a moment. All right. I need to see your references and most importantly, your portfolio. My what? Oh, don't tell me you don't have a portfolio. I need to see if your writing can be straightforward, unbiased, and as diplomatic as it gets. We can't have someone who turns every little outlaw raid into breaking news. I thought you were looking for someone to maintain peace in the DMZ. Oh, don't tell me you're another vigilante. Every cycle, more and more like you pour into the DMZ. Just because this is a former war zone doesn't mean that they can take matters into their own hands. It is our job to keep them informed on what is actually going on. 
Educate them about treaties, warn them of solar storms, keep this social experiment called Cluster 34 from descending into chaos. To add insult to injury, we just started to get in reports of Okar randomly attacking convoys, and now everyone is losing their minds. That's why we need someone whose pros could curb a tornado, and that is clearly not you. Uh, no, but I could help you find out what is going on with those Okar attacks. Actually, that would be helpful. All right, I just received a message that another incident is taking place at the Sito Jump Gate. You could start there. I'm on it. Thanks. Hey, who put out the piece about the mining cap on Insidium? Those numbers are all wrong. That was you, wasn't it, Chad? Cluster 34 is a dead man walking, I tell you. Yep. What is this? Oh, wait. There's a vault here? Is this the right quest? What quest is this? Yeah, vault worthy. Oh man, there's a vault here. Uh... Kind of weird breaking into a vault in the GNB headquarters, but you know, whatever. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Why is this place torn up? Oh lord, what am I doing? Uh. Ow. is similar. It's just sitting there asking to be opened. Dude, that was the Annihilator virus. That was awesome. I have to target them quicker. Enjoying Evercrack? I know, right? Oh my lord. This game's awesome. That's EverQuest? Yeah, it is. Uh, dude, they announced the new, um, new progression service for May, and I think I'm going to play it. Yep. We're gonna, I think I'm going to play on the new progression server. We need some cozy streams. Hair. 
Oh, this is the this is the challenge. Interesting. This place is a mess. 